Welcome back everyone to another tutorial on Power BI. Do not forget to click on the red subscribe button and the bell icon so that you are the first one to know whenever I upload any new video. In today's session we will see how to use web as the data source connection and get data from any web page in Power BI. Now let's jump to Power BI and get started. First we will open a new Power BI report. So click on new. Using web as the data source connection, we can get data in Power BI from any web page. Let me first show you the data source connection that we will be using. Click on the get data drop down, and here you will see the option web. And from the description, you can see it's written import data from a web page. So click on web. A new dialog box will open and you will observe that it's asking for the web page URL from where we want to import data in Power BI. You must be aware that IPL 2024 is currently going on. Suppose I want to get the list of all the teams that are participating in IPL 2024. So let's go to Google and search for IPL Wikipedia. Now click on this first URL. From here we can get all the information related to Indian Premier League. Let me scroll down and you will observe that we have few tables that are present in this web page. Like here we can see the list of all the winners. Then the table that we are interested to use in Power BI is the list of all the teams participating in IPL 2024. Here you will see the description teams and here it's written as of 2024 the league has 10 teams and when we will scroll down we will see the list of all the 10 teams. So we want this table to be imported in Power BI. First just copy this URL, go back to Power BI, paste this URL, click on OK. Now Power BI will connect to the web page and here we will see the list of all the tables that are present in the IPL Wikipedia web page. So in total there are 32 tables. Now to preview any table we can just click on the table name and the preview will be available on right hand side. Let me go back to Google. Scroll up and you will observe that this is the first table that we can see there countries India. Go back to Power BI. This is the same table that we can see here. At the top you will see two options table view which is currently selected and the other option is web view. So this will be the same web page from which we want to import data in Power BI. So first table that we can see here is giving us information from this table. Now scroll down. Here you will notice that we are getting names also for few of the tables like winners Indian Premier League. So this table is giving us information of all the winners of the Indian Premier League. Go back to table view and here you can see the same table. So in a similar way you will have to preview each of the table by just clicking on the table name and see which table you want to import in Power BI. Now the table that we are interested in is the teams who are participating in IPL 2024. So here you will notice that the title of this table is similar to this on the web page and this gives us the entire list of all the teams that are participating in IPL 2024. 
go back to table view it might happen that you won't get the exact table names as present in the web page you might get table names like this table 1 table 2 then at the bottom you will see different tables but not the exact table names are given like list of broadcasters it might become difficult to find out the table that we want to import in power bi so you will have to preview each and every table and see which table you want to import in power bi let me select this current teams table and here we will get the two options either to load the data or transform data let's click on transform data if you want you can do any transformations as required let's change the name to teams in ipl 2024 and everything else looks good the header is correctly populated for all the columns now let me click on close and apply so in this way we can use web as the data source connection and get data from any web page in power bi and build our reports this was all that i had to cover in this session i hope this session was helpful do not forget to click on the thumbs up button if you like this session see you in the next tutorial